Hi guys, today is the 18th of November 2019 and 53 minutes past 11 in the morning over here in the UK. 7-Eleven, I've talked about it a lot, it's a reference to 27 as well. If you take the two, separate that into two ones. Or if you see 7-Eleven, add the two ones together, you've got 27. They are interchangeable. I've made a lot of videos on the number 27, looking out for events like blackouts, events at football games or rugby games, such as explosions or terrorist attacks, stadium collapse or earthquakes occurring during the match. Um, that's on 27, let's have a look at 7-Eleven. So you can see here, 7-Eleven, for example, um, in August, I put out one looking out for, hold on, is that the one I'm looking for? Not up there yet. So in um, November 6th, I put one out looking at the uh, blackout potentially in Texas. Uh, back in September, on September the 11th, I put out one looking for blackout in New York, Texas and Florida. Um, a little while ago, I was looking at the events around the Women's World Cup. So it seems to be that same kind of pattern um, when it comes to 7-Eleven or 27. From my interpretations, blackout is something to do with a sporting event. So keep an eye out for those events. Now July 11th past, November the 7th past, July the 2nd past, and those are all variations um, of dates that I could take from the number 7-Eleven. However, there is one more. And the reason I'm looking at 7-Eleven so much is because it appears quite a few times throughout the Go 2 video. 666, the mark of the beast upside down is 999, the UK emergency number. 9 plus 9 plus 9, 27, a variation of 11-7 or 7-Eleven. The end of the Go 2 title, the T upside down is a 7. You've got the two marks here, gives us another reference to 7-Eleven or 11-7. Now, when I say 11, it could be 2, those numbers are interchangeable. Same with the dog's legs down here. You've got two marks for, for the legs here, 11, and then you've got the leg joining on to the bottom of the head, which is uh, the reference we get to seven. There's a little fading here, so it actually makes it easier to make it a backwards number seven. So there, in the beginning of the video, we have a lot of references to that particular date. Now, I'll still be looking at on the 27th of November because we have clear references to you know, 11 or 2, whatever they are. Um, here, so it could be given us a reference to November, and then we get the 27 repeated over and over again. In fact, I'm not sure, but it may be equal 1, 2, 3, 11, 1, 2, 3, 27. So I'm going to keep an eye out on 11, 27. Um, I have been keeping an eye out on the 27 for each month since I discovered this code, um, but as of yet, nothing significant. December the 27th is going to be significant, I believe. That's the day after the eclipse on December 26th, and as you've seen in my last video, um, the Heliophone title literally anagrams into the last, or the final eclipse, and that's December 26th this year. They may not be talking about this year, but we do have a year of the pig reference in the fireworks later on in this video, and this is the year of the pig, so that's why we're looking out for it so hard in 2019, and my watch ends on January the 2nd. 2020. So there's all the 7-Elevens, the 27s that I'm seeing. Uh, obviously not just there, but there's other locations. The Hangman, XX, 20, and then the V, which could actually be 5, but could be interpreted as a, side, as a sideways 7, so 27. The Shark, 2 in the mouth, 7 in the tail. If not there, then you've got a series of 7s making up the teeth. Again, they could be interpreted as 5. 25 is the date I'm looking at for his situations with Donald Trump. He's had some medical issues over the last couple of days, I believe. We still haven't really heard anything um, too much about it, so I'll be keeping my eyes open <clears throat> for any information like that. Perhaps it's the 25th of this month rather than December. But I'm, I'm more linked to December. Um, another 11-7 just here. Two marks on this side. You may not be able to see it. Look closely, you might just be able to. And then you've got an upside down 7. The rabbit is two marks and a seven. The George Bush hands, two tens, he shows, which is 20. And then three on one hand, four on the other, which is seven, 27. So again, 27 or 7 /11. Keep an eye on 27th of November, 27th of December. But there's also another date to keep an eye out on, uh, which comes from the lunar calendar, which I haven't used for a while. Um, this, uh, sorry, November 26th begins the 11th lunar month in the lunar calendar and then just for the 11-7 or 7-11 reference I'm looking at the seventh day in the 11th lunar month 
which brings us to December 2nd. Now, if you was to write that out, it actually pans out to be kind of like an inverted date. You can read them both the same way. So 7-11, the seventh day in the 11th of the month, is actually December, which can be represented by the letter L, which is the 12th letter of the alphabet. The second, which can be represented by two ones, so you can see that 7 could actually just be a flipped version of December the 2nd. Or December the 11th, but as I said, considering the 11th lunar month and the 7th lunar day is December 2nd, that's the day I'm looking at. So, it may be that while we're looking at July the 7th, while we, sorry, July the 11th, while we're looking at November the 7th, then we had to be looking at on the lunar calendar, which is December the 2nd. That obviously falls into uh, a date range where there could be a lot of events unfolding. If December the 2nd is 7 then I'll be looking out for the Black Heart events that I've talked about over the last couple of uh, weeks and months, 7 Black Heart morning, as well as the events around a football or rugby game. Um, if we're talking uh, US time, then there's only one match that's being played on the 2nd of December, um, which is appearing as the 3rd of December, because in UK format, 1.15 in the morning, that would actually be 8.15 in the evening on the 2nd of December in the United States on the East Coast. So it would be this match which would be occurring um, during that time. That's the Seattle Seahawks versus the Minnesota Vikings. Now, obviously, there was a lot of... Um, how do I say this? There was a lot of ideas around an event involving Seattle and an earthquake. And I've always had the interpretation of an earthquake occurring during a football game. So maybe those two interpretations can be mashed together, as in an event involving the Seattle Seahawks, an earthquake during the Seattle Seahawks game. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to be taking place in Seattle. I don't think so. Century Link Field. I'm not American, so I'll have to look and see what that is. Oh, it is in Seattle, Washington. So there we have another game taking place in Seattle on a watch day, um, which could involve earthquakes and blackouts um, or terrorist attacks during the actual game itself. So where all you guys were looking out for, oh, I can't remember the date, was it? Um, yeah, 3.11, was it? 11th of 3rd of November? I think everyone was looking out for the earthquake scenario with Seattle or some sort of event with Seattle. Um, perhaps it's a month later, occurring sometime between the 2nd of December, which is 7-11, and the 3rd of December, where we have a possible connection to some sort of missile launch. As I've showed in the last video, there's various different interpretations for this, but one of the dates taken from there is D3, which will be December 3rd, the day after December 2nd, the 7-11 reference from the lunar calendar. Now, I think that's what I wanted to bring to you guys today. Really, just to hammer home, the 7-11 reference is not dead just yet. We still have one more date where it could um, connect to, which is December 2nd. Um, yeah, you guys have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and may the Heavenly Father bless you.